All right, so this is my response to Caleb F.E. about Antarctica and how we're not allowed to freely explore, which you absolutely can. Just go look at it. the Beast channel, where the Beast did a wonderful video on Antarctica. But down here, I did a comment. Said, Caleb, bro, I want to help you out. Bring you closer to God's truth and Jesus' love. God is all-powerful and his genius is incomprehensible. Jesus' love is greatest only to God's and unconditional. God created the heavens and the earth in that order. Seven days to our Heavenly Father is billions of years to the humble span of man. I want to help you not disrespect his heavenly majesty. The awesomeness of our Lord's creation. It boggles the mind of man to this day. The language of God is mass. To understand his language helps us understand the incredible power he wields. To claim the unimaginable greatness of creation false is to call our Heavenly Father a charlatan. To claim his power no greater than the amusement of a snow globe a flat plain containing the waters by a firmament shook for our amusement to cause chaos within. All right, so my rant aside here, let's do the math. How many miles across is the USA? Draw a line from San Francisco to the coast of Delaware. How about drawing another line from the southernmost fin of Texas to the northernmost fin in Michigan? These are easily discernible from modern GPS travel data and US survey data for building construction. Um, use the metric over imperial measures for your flat earth map because millimeters are easier to math than the 16th of an inch. Unless you prefer decimal math. <laughs> Please humor us. Then measure the distances on a similar line drawn from Carnarvon, I might be Calling this wrong to Bellina, Australia. I'm not Australian. Compare that distance to the distance from San Francisco to the coast of Delaware. That is a line from west to east. Measure how long that line is on your map in millimeters and then go and look at the actual data for the miles or kilometers you would travel. Then take the distances from Geelong, or Geelong, I, I know, I'm not Australian again, to Bamaga, Australia. Again, compare those to the line drawn between the fins of Texas to Michigan. Both will provide like a plus sign on the map, a north to south and a west to east designation to tell you the size of each country on the map. And go ahead, if you want, to point out how many hours it would drive take you to drive from San Francisco to Delaware, and then again from uh, Carnarvon to Bellina, and then again from south to north, from Texas to Michigan, and see if that compares to the line that it would take you to draw. Compare the relative sizes in real scale on your flat earth map to the distance of each in real distance, as if you drove from them, like I just said. They aren't equal scale, and you are disrespectful to our, our creator and spreading lies. Your repentance is tough because you must convince all those that you deceived of the truth. I pray for you. Loves and hugs. You can be forgiven if you confess. Much love, brother.